Hi, my name is Ansley Owens. The class is DCOM 4533, Mass Communication Law. The My professor is Dr. Under, Underation, and the date is Tuesday, April 18th, 2023. In this Module 6 video presentation, I will be addressing the fairness doctrine and the concerns that people have about it increasing partisanship in the media. A lot of the problem that people have with this fairness doctrine is that they are concerned about it increasing partisanship in the media and as a result some people are proposing to return to the fairness doctrine. And I will be discussing in this presentation whether or not I agree with the Fairness Doctrine. The Fairness Doctrine of the United States Federal Commission, Communication Commission, introduced in 1949, was a policy that required the holders of broadcast licenses both to present controversial issues of public importance and to do so in a manner that fairly reflected differing viewpoints. As an example, the Fairness Doctrine would, ha would say that a news channel or a media outlet would not just be able to focus on all of the, all of the um, right, right-leaning um, issues, they would also have to focus on the left-leaning issues as well. I personally do agree with the Fairness Doctrine because I feel like all sides of politics should be represented and it wouldn't be, it's not fair for a news outlet to just focus on representing one side of the political spectrum. Um, I feel like cover it if it's if something is happening in the world that it shouldn't look one way because the news outlet might be more liberal leaning or they might be more right wing leaning that doesn't seem right because at some point it does become a lie and that that messes with how we get our news and how when we know things in chapter 9 of the text, the law of journalism and mass communication, the media and entertainment, it says, the media and entertainment landscape has been completely transformed by the digital revolution. There's something that differentiates broadcasters. You're not just there for your communities, you're there for free. I believe a strong broadcasting industry serves the interest of the American people. And I believe that if you have a strong interest in the American people and in broadcasting, which you would have to be passionate about, I believe that there's nothing that can stop you from telling the truth and being unbiased because that's when you're going to get the best news. According to the text, under FCC ownership rules, it says, For decades, the FCC has limited the number of stations a single licensee can own, both in one metropolitan area and nationally. The broadcast and newspaper industries have maintained that FCC ownership rules are overly burdensome in the fact in the fast evolving and highly competitive modern media marketplace. Now this basically means that the same licensee cannot own multiple channels just to limit the amount of bias that there is on those channels so that if say Disney owns ABC, Fox, like all these different um, stations this means that they wouldn't be able to do that because they don't want the same the same mindset to go into all these different stations. And I agree with that. I think that that should be true because that means that all this stuff that's going on right now wouldn't be going on to the world. And I just agree with that. So thank you.